Hey man, within this video, I'm gonna be giving y'all the best jump shots, the best tips to be lights out and shoot like a god. As y'all can see, man, I'm shooting 81 from three. I was shooting 100 my first 16 games, but then I just started just shooting crazy shots, breaking people's ankles, all type of stuff. So I'm lights out, and I do this live on Twitch. Follow me on Twitch, Lord Baby Hawk. Link in description. Then come back to the video, and we do it in solo rec. So first tip. I use push, right? With push, you shoot the ball at the highest point, right when that, huh, okay? Right when your wrist at the highest point. Do that with your fades, everything, and you will be lights out. I'm gonna keep posting these jump shot videos, man. Nobody can shoot in the game. It's pretty sad. <laughs> so send this to a friend who can't shoot. But yeah, before we get into all that, y'all make sure y'all hit that goddamn like button. Let's get 500 likes on this video. It is free. Don't be a hater. Now, first, this AI jump shot, man. It might be the best little build jump shot. Maybe. Okay, it's between Curry and AI. Okay, but this one's slower. You can shoot over people with this. It's like a baby T mat. Okay, so this might be more your speed. Okay. What's more important than speed is hitting your shot. Okay. This whole pretty good. It's, it's, it's pretty good. You know, I ain't OD tried it, but it's, it's pretty good. Fades is Gucci on it, everything. Now this is my Curry jump shot, right? Okay, you know, the, the, this is this is the main jump shot I use for when I use little builds, okay? Now you got a nice visual cue with this jump shot. You can still, you know, shoot over people, all that. You know, it's nice as for if you got a lower three. Nice little decent, you know? A nice, nice little, nice little build jump shot, man. And again, bro, if you are struggling to shoot with jump shots that you know are very popular and most people use and whatever, any of that, man, look, tick your jump shot down until you hit with that hoe. The worse you are, the higher your shooting needs to be, okay? A lot of y'all got, got that misconstrued, bro. The worse you are, the higher your shooting needs to be. This is my favorite jump shot right now. This is the one I mainly use to get those percents and everything. I see a lot of complaining. Oh my God, your build, da da da. You, you. This is why you shoot good, bro. People were missing with these stats before all them damn patches. I was shooting 75 when the game was hard to shoot with this build and and other builds too. You know. So, but look, as I say, bro, tick your jump shot down, your release speed as much as much as you need, bro. You feel me? Even right here, right here, right here. Whatever you need, the worse you are tick it down it's easier to hit with you go try it bro but do do what you gotta do my boy like if you missing with t-max slow that hoe down slow that hoe down it's the best jumper in the game slow it down till you hit with that hoe okay and the worse you are stop look a lot of y'all you're not very good right and you don't think that so there's a lot of people with crazy egos y'all think y'all are something you're not especially if you're not good make builds with high middies okay that's what your first focus needs to be on and you got to have your three ball up the worse you are the higher your shoot needs to be it's how you have more fun on the game okay if you're not no meta slasher like super cheeser with the slashing you have to have your shooting high so they respect your shot so you can slash easier when you don't have shooting you ruin the fun for you and all your teammates okay it's a lot of y'all damn randoms out here ruining people's experience because you don't want to learn how to shoot share this hoe right stop letting your homies make builds without stupid high shooting the worse you are the higher your shooting needs to be okay i don't know how many times i gotta say it dog now look we got terrence man this you, this might be the fastest jump shot in the game. Maybe, I don't know. It's really fast, okay? If you can't handle it, you might need to tick this hole down. You kinda can hit almost as good as the T-Mac, okay? You could get this base at, I think, 85. I have the releases different, but you could get this base with different releases. Like, say say you made, no, nobody knew T-Mac was super, like, godlike, right? So if your build got like an 86 midi or 85 or your three or whatever, you might be able to get this Terrence man, right? Rock with it, tick the holes, the speed down if you can't handle it, and you might be able to shoot just as good as T-Mac. I'm telling you, bro. It's a real nice jumper. 
now Prince, you know, another jump shot you can get at lower, you know, it's a, it's a, it's another consistent jump shot. <clears throat> and that goddamn Kobe, okay? Quadruple A plus, very consistent, smooth. I got it ticked down for you. Of course, your jump shot, you get this at lower uh, requirements, but I just got on special releases and all that. Kobe Bryant, you know, he bo they boosted all his everything in the game. It's another great jump shot, okay? You do get contested more, but if you can hit your shot, it really don't matter, okay? A lot of y'all are playing bots anyway, so that shouldn't matter, okay? When I used the Kobe, I it felt like I got contested more somewhat, but I still made them, so it didn't matter. And to get all your hot spots, dog, if you're really struggling, my career, 12-minute quarters on rookie. Thank me later. <laughs> Thank me later. That method seems to be easier than the street ball method. Me the street ball method still seems pretty easy, but my career, 12 minute rookie, that seemed crazy easy. A lot of people don't know about that, bro. Okay? And you could just shoot over people. A lot of people don't know you could shoot over these on these like easy settings. I even shoot over them in street ball. A lot of y'all don't know that. Here, man. I want to show y'all this right here, guys. Okay? This is very important. This is so important, bro. A lot of y'all, you're not thinking, man. I've been on at least 40 different accounts this year, right? And I'm noticing something. People don't have their badges or their hotspots, and they're going to play, and then they're whining about the game, especially this year since the rebirth, right? It gets you the silver badges or whatever. People aren't getting their hotspots and maxing out their shooting badges. You have to do it. Literally, th this right here. Look, y'all are playing and you don't even got this max. How do you know the real truth of the game? You feel me? Look, Hall of Fame MIDI Magician. Bro, are you gonna miss a MIDI with that? Especially, I already gave y'all the best pull-ups in the game. Y'all go check it out for your build. I gave y'all the best releases in the game too. And I'm finna go over the best jump shots again I go, I put in different jump shots every time, but look, you want to max out your jump shots. Look, right here, Claymore, you want to max this hole out. You want to max out Mini Magician. You really want to max out open looks. This is so important. It will change your game. I don't know why the goddamn modded controller guys, they're not doing uh the badge updates on all the uh, shooting badges first. Like, I don't know if I'm just tripping, but I just feel like these shooting badges change everything. Like, like it's not even close. Like, when you play with, without this, and then compared to with this, it's completely different, bro. That catch and shoot, one of the most important badges, bro. People don't even got their catch and shoot max. They're gonna go play, and they're missing. Look, I got this whole Hall of Fame. You feel me? People aren't maxing out their badges, especially because of the rebirth. I'm telling you, this is why you're missing way more than not. Look, the green machine, you got to get this whole max. Maybe it might not do nothing this year, but I, I, I don't know in particular what, but I know overall when you get all your badges, it's way easier to shoot. I'm shooting 75% on an 83-point build, right? Look, Space Creator. Max that hole, watch what happens. It's broken. Look, max that hole, watch what happens. You, you see these badges? You wanna max out your shooting badges, bro. The Agent 3s, you wanna max this hole out. Before you say like the shooting this and that and that and this, the, the shooting's broken because Mike Wang's playing God. It's giving you random releases and it's not letting you make it when you do time it right, bro. When you do a little bit wiggly and you still time it right, He's not letting you make it sometimes. It's annoying and broken, bro. It's it's annoying. Like, like, stop punishing the top players. It's corny as hell. Mike Wayne really need to lose his job, bro. Blinders, look, max this hoe out. Watch what's gonna happen. The Hall of Fame Deadeye, max this hoe out. Watch what's gonna happen, okay? Limitless range, max it out. Watch what's gonna happen, you feel me? I'm telling you, bro max your badges if you need the method let me know i could get all the shooting badges in probably six hours overall like all of them right i just don't have the time you know this is a new build by the way this is a rebirth i did all this in, in one day all these badges you see i did all this in two hours before i get into all the jump shots i want to show y'all this right 
get your lethal hot zones, okay? 2K Lab did a test, right? You have to at least get your hot spots. Before you play online, get your hot spots, bro. It will be way easier to shoot on every build you use. Get your hot spots. Send this to a friend. Tell them. Get your hot spots. Stop making everyone miserable to play the game because you're too lazy to get your hot spots. Get them. The lethal, these purple hot zones. You have to do the art of shooting drill. I think it's open like two times a week. Y'all uh, clarify down below. And also let me know y'all's favorite jump shots down below and uh, anything else. But, you know, but look, hot zones, very important. You have to get them. Now, look, here are the visual cues explained by Mike Wayne. I personally use release, but you can hear what he says. But look, none of this truly matters because there's so much latency. But, you know, you have to let it go before the cue of whichever one you use it's kind of crazy brother but listen up yeah li li listen up jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor set point is when the ball is raised up above the head before the shooting motion begins push which is the default setting is when the shooting motion is underway and the ball is being pushed forward and release is the point just before the ball leaves the shooter's hand jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor set point is when the ball now look, the whole problem with this is there's so much latency in 2K and there's so there's different latency in so many different modes. So it's kind of hard, you know, you know, but it's still easy, right? You just got to get used to it. You know, you got to have your prediction skills up. You can't always go off the cue because there's so many different latencies. Take off trigger effect. Something should not be vibrating in your hand. You're a grown man. You feel me? Take off trigger effect on your PlayStation and on the game. You can keep on vibration. It's cool. But take off trigger effect. Throws you off. It's ridiculous. When I be playing rec, all I hear old heads, young heads, you know, just turn off your jump shot meter. I don't care if you don't know your jump shot, figure it out. You get a 20% plus boost without the meter. Tell all your friends, share this video to them. I know they're scamming us, but if you want to be able to shoot, <laughs> jump shot boost will help you. If you want to be able to shoot, also even better, Gatorade, okay? Um, you can probably go with one of these hoes or not even use it. Make sure you always do your weekly workouts. They took gym rat out the game. If you do your weekly workouts on a certain level, you're gonna get the extra blue bar that helps you with your shooting and everything you do, correct? Very important, your Gatorade is gonna help you shoot. You, you see how they, everything in the game is designed for you to be in a VC deficit. We are basically paying to play the game. <laughs> Y'all ain't never thought about that, huh? Now one more thing, in every 2K, people take all this stuff off to make it have less lag delay. You could turn off your shot feedback, you could turn off everything. If you like, if you feel like stuff is really bothering you, if you're lag delayed, you turn all this off, it could help. I'm gonna keep it on, but they say you turn all this off. You know, they be doing this in every 2K, like the stage guys. I don't know if it help or don't. The ball trail, they turn it all off. If you're experiencing stuff and you just wanna test this out, this is something you could- Hey, y'all click on this video on the screen. But well, hey, hey, here we go again. Talking this for when this hit the fan Everything I'm that made me Now break it down Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.